What a waste. G'day everyone, Brian here. The story of Jesus facing his death is a terrible and a confronting story, and one that most of us know pretty well. But maybe we know some bits more than others, and some bits get lost in our, in our memory. And so it's good for us to read through the gospel every now and then, just so we keep things in mind. And today, in Mark chapter 14, I'm looking at one of the stories of something special that happened for Jesus, which most other people thought was appalling. In Mark chapter 14, we now find Jesus in a place called Bethany, a bit outside of Jerusalem. He's relaxing in the home of a bloke named Simon the leper, uh, which is an interesting story in itself, I'm sure. But surprisingly, a lady comes in. She doesn't seem to have been invited. She just turned up. And she goes straight to Jesus. She doesn't ask him for anything, as many others have done. She does something for him something unexpected and something extravagant. Here's how it's recorded. A woman came with an alabaster jar of very expensive perfume made of pure nard. She broke the jar and poured the perfume on his head. Now that's extravagant. Uh, it's extreme. And what's the response of people? Well, they know how expensive this perfume is. And they say this. They were indignant, appalled. Why this waste of perfume? Not that they wanted to use it. Rather, they said, it could have been sold for a year's wages and the money given to the poor. And they rebuked her harshly. Now, there's something for us there. Because we live in an age where every action is judged on its moment. And so we see a woman like this, she brings her perfume, it's expensive, she breaks it, which means it can't be resealed, so it's not like using a bit, it's all or nothing. She pours it all over Jesus, and everyone else responds, this is a waste of money, we could have done something better with it. But we don't know the whole story. We don't know what led up to her wanting to do that. Mark doesn't tell us who she is. She just turns up. How did she come by this perfume? What had Jesus done that made it so appropriate for her to do that? Tomorrow we'll see how Jesus responds to her gift and to the criticism of others. But I wonder two things. Firstly, how have we been extravagant in our love for Jesus? And secondly, when have we criticised the actions of someone when we don't really know what lies behind it? This woman had her eyes on Jesus, and that is a very good example for us. I hope that you'll be able to do that today. Enjoy your day. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Bye-bye.